All right, nosy people. So there are quite a few questions in this particular category. So here goes. First question is Faith Celine. Um, I cannot pronounce that first word, but um, I think it means congratulations. In yeah, I don't know. It says congratulations with your 3,000 subbies. I always enjoy your vids and what you share with us. Since we are allowed to ask questions and it's up to you if you will answer it, I would like to know your name or nickname besides Miss QO. Ha ha. So, quite a few people have asked me what is my name um, or nickname besides Miss QO. Um, for the purposes of online and, and cyber world, the cyber world, I personally have preferred keeping... Um, QO Chemist as the name that most people know me by. Um, for those of you that I have connected with outside of this particular forum, then you guys know my name. But um, I'm just a little, um, even though I've been on here a little while now, I'm still a little sensitive, if you will. I've seen so many evil people here on YouTube who seem to like come through and attack people um, for various reasons on their channel and while I haven't had too much of that going on I just feel like QO chemists can handle it but if anybody kind of came at me the wrong way uh, with my real name my government name it would just not go too well so at some point maybe I will you know expose that to you guys but for now uh, I kind of like it the way it is, and I, I hope you guys can respect and appreciate that. So, that's my answer. Next, is it Ganicki? Ganicki? Ganicki. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Sorry. Hi, Q. Most of my questions were actually asked in your 20-question tag, but I would like to know what career field you're in. You appear to be quite intelligent and well-versed. What career field are you in? So, my career field, um, I have a background. My bachelor's degree is in chemistry. Um, I was an analytical chemist for four and a half years in the pharmaceutical industry. I then um, got into quality assurance in that same quality and um, pharmaceutical uh, industry at that particular company. I've then gone on to biotech companies and have been in quality assurance ever since. So thanks for the question. Sexy with locks. I enjoy your videos very much. I love the compassion you show to others. My question for you is, are you a Christian? So, I am. I, I believe myself to be a Christian. I was raised um, to believe in God and Jesus Christ. And um, I attended church and uh, been a member of church and sang in church choirs. Um, I'm not the type of person, though, who shoves religion down other people's throats. And I am a person who respects other people's religions. Um, I find that as long as other people respect me, then I respect them. I have friends with various beliefs and no beliefs, honestly. Um, and I find that if you take the time to sit down and talk to someone, you will find a lot of similarities between your belief and theirs. Thanks for the question. Danique Girl 16 I have another question for you. Are you married or have a significant other or children? So, no, I am not married. I've never been married. Um, not never been engaged, actually. I've been in a serious relationship, and that did not uh, obviously, you know, continue. Um, I, you know, I date. Um, I'm definitely hoping to be married, and I, I want to at least have one child someday. Um, I guess it's just all in what's in the cards for me and what God has planned for me. Thanks for the question. Uh, A plus 1920 asks, um, congrats, random question, what's the meaning behind your username? So I did do a video on this, but I will, po I will discuss that in this video as well. My username is QO Chemist, and the QO stands for Quality Operations, and Chemist is Chemist. And uh, that was my very first job title out of college, so thanks for the question. Sweet Mahalda, congrats. Can we ask personal questions? Are you single? Do you have kids? How old are you? <laughs> What's your diet? You're so fit. Do you exercise a lot? Okay. Will you sell your earrings? Uh, I'm very curious. So 
again, I'm single. I do not have any children other than Amaya, who is very much my child, even though she is furry and did not come from my womb. Um, how old am I? I just celebrated my 35th birthday. Yes, I know, right? Anyway, um, and I've already addressed the questions about the diet and will I sell my earrings. So thanks for the questions. Uh, let's see. I did get somewhat of a proposal, but I am not going to post that here on this video. <laughs> Next, back to nap 1120 ask. Um, hey, Ladybug. So here are my questions. How did a southern girl end up in Rhode Island and what's the story behind your username? So I already gave the story behind my username. How did a southern girl end up in Rhode Island? A southern girl, after working six years at a company that she loved, um, had basically there was a reduction in force. And I got laid off and I started looking for work. But there was quite a huge reduction and there was a lot of people looking for work. And there was a company that approached me um, here in Rhode Island and initially it was a headhunter who just said they had a position in Rhode Island and I immediately was like oh no not at this time I'm kind of keeping my search in North Carolina but about a week and a half later I got a call from an HR representative at that company same company Rhode Island's not that big so I knew it had to be the same company offering me a position they had seen my resume and when she um, presented the position to me, I went online, immediately looked up information about the company and the position, and I saw another position on their site that I liked better. So when she called me back to ask me if I was interested in interviewing for the position, she asked me, um, you know, presented to me, I actually asked her if I could interview for the other position, if not instead as well. And... She said she would talk to the manager and she was like, you know, they're kind of looking for this, this and this, which I didn't have all the stuff they were looking for. But I assured her that, you know, if I was given the opportunity, you know, I was flexible. I was a quick learner and I thought I could do the job. Did a phone interview and let's just say he later became my manager and I moved to Rhode Island. All right. Thanks for the questions. Changing directions. I would love to hear about how you ended up in Rhode Island and the career path you have been on since college. So I think I have addressed that. Career path from chemist to quality assurance in the biotech and pharmaceutical industries. And you just heard how I ended up in Rhode Island. I know, right? K Terrell 30 asked a question that's near and dear to my heart. Is how long have I had Amaya? I have had Amaya. Amaya has been with me almost 12 years. June of 2012 will be 12 years that I've had my boo-boo. Um, and it has been an amazing 12 years. I've had her since she was two months old. And, or well, we've had each other since she was two months old and she has been a blessing. I rescued her from a animal shelter when she was a two month old little puppy dog. And I, has just been an amazing, um, journey with her um, watching her grow and learn I mean it's kind of like having a kid but not exactly um, but she is a joy um, she is my best friend um, honestly when people say man's best friend woman's best friend too she has been through a lot of things with me and no matter what kind of day I'm having or what kind of mood I'm in she still welcomes me home with a wagon tail and a bright puppy dog smile and she's always happy to see me you know and when I'm having a moment I'm not feeling good or I'm feeling kind of low or I'm feeling sick she knows how to cuddle up with me and just be by my side and that is huge if I could find that unconditional love in a male <laughs> you know I you know then uh yeah I know most women don't want a dog but uh, if I could find the qualities that are in my dog in the opposite sex, um, then who knows? Maybe QO will not be alone. <laughs> Next question. Um, oh, she said Amaya. Uh, Miss Full Roller. She says, Amaya is so cute. Congrats on 3,000 subbies. I have no idea what to ask, but if I think of something, I'll come back and post it. Oh, wait. What is your exact age? So at the time... 
that you posted the question, I was 34, but my birthday was November 1st, and I am now 35 years old. I know, right? It's kind of shocking at times for me to say that out loud, but I have been blessed to have 35 wonderful years, and I hope I have more than 35 more, but we'll see. Um... Ebony Divine One, do you have any siblings? Good question. I actually have an older brother. There are two of us. It's me and him. We're almost five years apart. And yeah, my brother lives in Reno, Nevada. And I love him very much. We're pretty close, actually. So yeah, thanks for the question. Um, I think it's Michi Prada. Michi Prada. That's what I'm going to say. Michi Prada. I asked, do you have any kids? Are you married? Ever been married? What's your measurements? What's your favorite food? What's the most craziest, weird, random thing about you? Are you satisfied with your love life? So no kids, not married, never been married, never been engaged. I know, what what is going on, right? Um, what's my measurements? It depends on what time of the year, what I've been eating. We're not going to talk about that. Um... <laughs> My favorite food, oh my gosh, I, mm, I'm a type of person, I cannot pick a favorite food because I have had so many wonderful things to eat. Um, gosh, I can't, I cannot name a favorite, I'm sorry, I'm one of those people who cannot settle on a favorite food, so that's tough. Craziest, weird, random thing about me, gosh, hmm, crazy, weird, random thing about me. I don't know. Oh. The craziest, weird, random thing about me. I would say... I don't know. Most people don't believe that I used to be a extreme nail biter, but I was. I don't know if that's weird or random. Um, I don't have, like, any weird quirks or, you know, I can't touch my tongue and my nose or cross my eyes or wiggle my ears or anything, so... Am I satisfied with my love life? Um, I don't really have uh, what I would say. I'm not like in love right now. I, like I said, I've been dating, but I'm not in love right now. So I can't really say I'd be satisfied with it because I don't have it right now. Um, I definitely ultimately want to find the person, that one. But I have not found that one. I'm not soliciting for that one here on YouTube. Let me just put that out there. But I'm very satisfied with my life. Um, I love my life. I do. And, uh, I have a very full life. I'm single, but I have a very full life. I, I live it to the fullest. And that doesn't mean like partying hard and all that stuff. I just experience a lot and I, I really get out and I live. And so I'm very satisfied with that. And we just like somebody who wants to do it with me at some point. So thanks for the question. Bronze Cutie, congrats on your milestone. I've been a somewhat silent follower of yours for years. Okay. You seem to be quite articulate, crafty, knowledgeable, and classy lady. Thanks for sharing your world with us. Oh, thank you. Most of the questions I am interested in have been asked by others. However, I would like to go even further and ask, if you're not married or dating anyone, is that by choice? Meaning, do you even want to... Do the marriage kid thing or are you taking it all in strides? I definitely want to be married and I would like to have a child or two. Um, but I am taking it all in stride at this point. I'm not going to stress it. I feel at this point um, it's going to come when it comes. And sometimes it's a little scary as I get older. It's like, okay, you know, society says you're running out of time. And, you know, so I do worry a little bit at times because I'm like, I'm getting older Body's changing, you know, things start to happen when you get older, more issues come up with pregnancy when you get older. But um, I'm taking it all in stride because that's all I can do. I could drop dead tomorrow, you know, but right now I'm just living my life to the fullest. You know, um, I've had a lot of friends who I've watched wait for the someone. And so they don't really live their life because they're waiting for the someone, you know, to come and um, I'm very fortunate that I am past that point. Uh, I spent, you know, quite a significant time in a relationship waiting for everything to fall into place and for, you know, us to, you know, be a couple and married and all that. And when that didn't work out and I had to walk away from that, 
um, I just promised myself that I was not going to sit around and wait anymore. So when it comes to traveling, simple things like going to a concert, going to the movies, going out to eat, if I have to go by myself, it's something I really want to do. I, you know, and I can't find somebody to go with me or sometimes I don't even ask. I just go. I get my ticket or I get in my car or I book my flight, whatever. And I go because, you know, again, life is just so short and I don't think you should limit yourself waiting for all these other things that may never happen. I think if you want to do something, if you want to experience something and you have the means to make it happen, you should do it. Because, you know, you just don't know. Like, you know, tomorrow's not promised. And I can say that I have had some wonderful experiences. And I'm so grateful um, that I've been able to do those things. And hopefully I'll be able to do them someday with someone. But until then, you know, I'm going to live. So thanks for the question. And thanks for being a silent follower. Don't be so silent. Um, Talk to me. But those are the questions, a lot of them. So thanks so much um, for all those wonderful questions. And I hope I have answered them to your satisfaction. (laughs) All right, guys.